Imagine this. You wake up one morning to a news alert that feels almost like a prank. Headlines everywhere scream the same thing. Scientists confirm humans can now breathe on Mars. No spacesuits, no helmets, no oxygen tanks. Just step outside, fill your lungs, and breathe as naturally as you do on Earth. For centuries, Mars has been painted in our imaginations as a barren red wasteland, deadly to human lungs and hostile to life as we know it. Yet suddenly, without any engineering miracle or heavy machinery, it has become a place where your chest could rise and fall as effortlessly as it does right now, sitting on Earth. The question bursts into your mind before you even finish reading. What would this mean for us as a species, and how would our world, and Mars itself, change forever? The hook here is irresistible because it strikes at the heart of what has always held humanity back from colonizing Mars, the air itself. Right now, Mars's atmosphere is about 95% carbon dioxide with only a trace of oxygen, so thin and suffocating that